It's like when Voss gave out his password by mistake. Oh, God. But you did it to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, he gave out his password on the air. Oh. Oh no! I say we do Jocktober. Jocktober. Let's do Jocktober. Okay. Dan, have so you no ever sat through a Jocktober with us? Uh, I've I've heard it, uh, but I've never sat through it with you guys, and I am very excited about you it. You sure? Dude. Because it does affect you guys on the road. So if you want to tap out, you can. No. Because what happens? Some of our comic friends. Uh, Going to some of these radio stations, not knowing that we beat the shit out of that radio show. Yeah, but then I think that'd be more. That's just fun to try to <laughs> bless you. Jacktober. So, all right. Well, mm -hmm. if we get any uh, Eric updates, we'll certainly no, pass them along. But so far, all I'm getting is furious. So we're in the furious uh, stage, which could last maybe forever. I'm just hoping one of the texts just says, "I'm coming." Oh like, Jesus! I'm coming for you. Very angry. Yeah. All right. All right. A little Jocktober, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jocktober. October. A celebration of all things shitty in radio. That's not very nice. Fantastic failures of pontificating proportions. That's so bad. Wow. An interactive exploration of what makes radio rancid. Jocktober. Hosts, holes, bits, and stunt boys. This isn't funny. It's time for... <laughs> Jocktober. I got a tree on my house. Oh. Hey. All right. And remember, yeah. uh, we said we want to change it up a little bit this year, make it a little different. Yeah. We have decided that um, this particular show mm -hmm. needs way more than one day. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Way more than one day. Yes. Uh, so for this uh, year's Jocktober, Fridays are dedicated to Scott and Todd. Scott yeah. and Todd. Show. Yeah. Friday is Scott and Todd my day. House. Yeah. Oh my God! Scott and Todd. Scott and Todd. They've been a staple in New York City radio for many, many years. Uh -huh. I personally don't understand why, <laughs> oh. but for some reason they have enough of an audience that they continue to fucking broadcast. Amazing. Look, just looking at their picture, they yeah. have WNBA coach faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're like, ladies, hustle it up. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on, hustle girls. It up. Another layup. Oh. Scott, and Todd, Scott and Todd. Scott Shannon should be a reminder uh -oh. that you should not. What happened there? Oh. Is what? it possible? What happened to the Facebook page? What a fucking Let drag. Preempt? Uh -oh. Preemptive? It's possible. Let me. Let what me did look they at know? A preemptive strike here? I bet E Rock tipped them off. He's working for Scott and Todd. Yeah, though. he's like, hey, by the way, fuck I, them guys. They're going to fuck you today. It was all I, the dirt. Shut down your Facebook. I think we kind of. I think we did. Talked about Fridays being Scott and Todd Day before today, so I think they're on to us. Uh, no, here you go. Oh, oh, okay. Shoot. Hey, there we go. Scott and Todd what from PLJ? Uh, PLJ here in New York City. PLJ's Facebook. Page? Scott Shannon, in all yeah. fairness, did a lot of cool things for radio, but he he probably should have stepped out a few years ago. Oh the, boy, he's overstayed his welcome. Yeah, this uh, it's a reminder that maybe there's a time for all of us to just step aside. Is it that he's just trying too hard now, or? No, he just, he's not trying at all. <laughs> yeah, at all. He has a uh, rock yeah, mouth. That's fair enough. He looks like a fucking rock, and he, and he sounds like one. He's saying he's a rock-headed idiot? Oh, he's a yeah. rock-headed idiot. He has idiot Easter Island head. <laughs> Those fucking monoliths. And I don't know, it looks like he's had some work done over the years, to the point he might have fucked up his own... He kept. He went to the well too many times? I think so, yes. yes. Most nothing... of his face doesn't move. There's nothing better than a guy with too much facial plastic surgery. Oh, yeah. And he uh, really doesn't say much on the radio anymore of, of importance. Oh, man. No. He looks like... Uh, uh, like his partner frosts his hair. out of <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looks like a senator that tried to kill Steven Seagal or, like, set up Steven Seagal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's just like, uh, I know you're a good cop, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, All right. you could have a role in Machete. Yeah. What um, what do we got from Scott and Todd? Well, I figure, you know, there are uh, a couple hope staples. He's checking. Oh. hope he's checking his phone. Yeah, update? No update. No update. Oh, oh. So we're going to stick with Still Furious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, he actually mellowed out, actually took a log flume ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know what, guys? After I got splashed on Splash Mountain, I realized that's not that big of a deal. It's not that bad anymore. He's having getting, fun. Yeah. I'm going to go yeah. get a Bing phone. Happiest place on earth. <laughs> yeah. I got a text from Eric. What does it say? 
I'm not mad. Oh, great. Oh, April, uh, April Falls. Oh, Edgar. April Falls. Don't even. No timing. No, it doesn't even no, wait no, for it to. Fucking no. terrible. Settle in. It's not April. <laughs> All right, so it's Scott and Todd Day. Every yeah. Friday, we're doing Scott and Todd. Fuck it for October yep. this year. And uh, today, we start with a, a, a fine song parody. They love. Oh, do they love their they song love parody? They love the song they parody. They love a good parody. But oh. if you notice, uh, one thing I, I love about their song parodies is how they shoehorn words in by just completely putting the accent on the wrong syllable. Oh. Uh, they, they put words in that are much more wordy than the original song. They have to bend and twist the line. Like the, a good parody, the words naturally fit in, and you sing it, and it sounds like the original song. They're incapable of doing those. Yeah, so they really try for their song parodies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the energy's there, sir. <laughs> oh, God. What is this one about? Is it topical? Not really. I mean, the great thing about Scott and Todd. Yeah. It doesn't have to be topical. We've been oh. doing Jacktober for six years, I think. This wow. is the sixth or seventh year. It's the exact same show. Yeah, I mean, for all these years that I've been listening to them, mm -hmm. their show hasn't changed even slightly. Wow! So you know the the, uh, the song parody is still indeed a staple. And, yeah. And no, I think this one. Sometimes they'll do a, a topical one, but since the show hasn't changed in so long, uh -huh. sometimes I think they can also go back into the archives. Yeah. And pull one out. Ooh. Evergreens. Anything? Mm, no. You think he's on a ride? Uh, we're not talking about what? rides right now. Why is it Disney? I thought maybe he was on the Mad Hatter spinning D cups. <laughs> <laughs> no? Just getting nauseous while his phone's oh, vibrating. Oh, yeah. Did you say teacups or? Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay, cool. Of course. What else would I have said? I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Get ready to laugh. Terrible. Oh, fucking hilarious. I can't even fucking deal. Yep, this is on New York Radio. They think that's going to be the Who's number one the market in the country. Asshole that's like, this is good. This is good. I got a, I got a, um, a parody about taco meat. <laughs> you guys you guys are not going to believe the new one. It is taco meat parody. Fantastic. You know how they were um, talking about, like, what's in that taco meat? <laughs> no. Didn't hear that. So Well, I, I read the story. Uh, no one else knows it. So let's make a song about it. Obscure, obscure news stories turned into parody songs. Yeah, yeah, Did you guys yeah. Hear about the uh, the traffic on the upper level of the Queensboro Bridge. We oh, did a parody God, song crazy. about it. A car broke down, <laughs> and I'm now trying to get around. Fucking stretching, bro. Yeah. Brown. Anything. Yeah. And, oh, my God. Take it to the bridge, because they say that in the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they really do say that in the song. Flat and plastic. Is it beef or oh, my Is it beef or kangaroo skin? Is it beef or is it penguin? Is it beef or wild wombat? Is it beef or yeah. rapping podcast? What's in that taco meat? Yeah. Is it full of little chihuahua meat? Yeah. Oh, second verse. That's a repeat. Oh, Same. From rodents in the street. Same fucking yeah. line. Do they just slap some sauce on it and heat? Yeah. Take it to the bridge. Oh, my God. Uh. They do, uh, they're doing the same, same, same like thing. That's how lazy this is. The right. Uh -huh. They're doing just a shitty well, verse again. Fucking uh -huh. funny. Do you like it, Chip? It it's clean Yuma. It's, it's clean. Are there hyenas in Argentina? I don't think so. Oh. Fucking good stuff. I am good stuff. Wow. Fun song. Fun song. Fuck yeah. Perfect uh, Perfect example again of Jocktober. Song parodies. 99.9% uh, .9 of them suck ass. They are terrible. What upsets me the most is thinking of the person that enjoys this. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a time they were, you know, maybe oh, yeah. not on that show, I don't know, but in general, you know. 
You'd appreciate oh, yeah. a good song parody, but hey, I, I think I that, used to write a few myself. I think that time has passed us. Back a long in time the ago. day. Scott and Todd being featured on Jocktober today. Look at his frosted hair. Yeah. <laughs> is Todd um, He enjoys a good frosting. Is Todd gay? Not that I know of. Oh, okay. I'm just wondering. He just plays one in he his pictures. He looks like a gay man, <laughs> which is fine. Right. It's not that there's anything wrong with that. Hey, look, I am just selling some real estate in Vermont. Yes. <laughs> the just frosted hair, the yeah. turtleneck sweater. He uh, likes to perform. He loves that doing... horrible, what is that, the burgundy color? I yeah. just like to I... curl up with some chamomile. I use an exfoliating wash. <laughs> 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 Hi, guys. Welcome back to the program. Yes. Burgundy is a rough color for freaking oh, anyone. Is he trying to be a hipster with those glasses? Oh, well, you know what? Uh, where, where, where. You make fun. That's uh, the where, look. Where, where. Yeah, yeah we patch. don't. When was the last time we wore a suit to work? These guys wear suits to work. Oh. Anyway, we move on with uh, some classic Scott and Todd banter as the boys talk about oh. Carrie Underwood singing the Beatles, and Scott contributes. Oh. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> damn, I thought he contributed something. Oh, I thought he was going to step in. Oh, man. There's a theme uh, with today's Jocktober. Uh-huh. You're going you're gonna to hear a theme. I think we picked up on it. Okay. <laughs> it, really, it was sort of shaky, and then some people said stuff like, uh, I'll never forget where I was when JFK was shot, and I'll never forget where I was when Carrie Underwood murdered the Beatles. She got the most tweets, 17,090 during the show. Elton John was second with 13,720. So Those were a lot of hate oh, yeah. tweets. That's though. all right. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I guess. I it's still it tweets. That, I didn't think it was that terrible. No, I didn't either. I mean... She's a nice lady. She's not. That's not an easy song to That's, sing. Who either. gives a shit mm -hmm. if she's you know, a nice a lady? Like that. I mean, it's a classic. And mm -hmm. I guess a lot of the, the, you know, the guys or girls on Twitter might well, be. Well, they probably never even heard it. Right. <laughs> you know? Like, who did this? One Direction? <laughs> this is dirt. This one of them One Direction songs? <laughs> oh, I hate One Direction. <laughs> I can't want the Wow. stuff. I heard the Him and stuff. Him and Todd quite obviously hate each other. There's no chemistry there because, whatsoever. Because Todd just plows over him. Yeah. He doesn't listen to him. Right. Uh, she seemed like a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> a nice lady. Thank you, nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, ass. I think, I think a lot of it is Scott <laughs> trying to tag everything Todd does. Yeah. With nothing. With nothing, <laughs> yes. We're just he tags with nothing. <laughs> Stony silence, <laughs> or, or, or or the last thing where he's going like he's doing this One Direction bit, and then Scott for no reason goes, "I hate One Direction." Uh -huh. I hate one direction. Uh -huh. You didn't yeah. say it right. Yeah. Uh -huh. It bothers me because it's uh -huh. new. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. I hate them. <laughs> Days are getting married. <laughs> he's just like, he's I, just <laughs> I don't Man. like my daughter's dating a black guy. <laughs> I don't like. One Direction. One Direction. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, he's great. What do you hate One Direction for? I just, don't like One just Direction. Blurt it out. I hate them. Oh, they woke him up from a nap. Yeah. Like, I don't One Direction. I hear more co coherent stuff walking by an old age home <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> here in New York City. That's what we're listening to. Uh, exactly. <laughs> we got someone who wants to comment on the Taco Meat song. Uh -huh. Don't forget it's Taco Day on the Opie and Anthony oh, show. Bet it is. Get ready to enjoy us eating tacos. <laughs> Brian from Impractical Jokers. Hey guys, it's uh, they call me Q on a practical joke. Yeah, I've I actually like the show, and I, oh. I heard you were a fan of ours, which wow. I which I think is pretty cool, man. What do you got, Brian? I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan, man. I I, I just got Ooh. satellite. I just bought a new car, and I just got satellite radio in it. And I was so excited to listen to you guys, Ooh. and I didn't get I didn't get like I turned it on, and it was like a glorious moment. I was like, I'm back on A. This is great. And I didn't know you guys were doing a joke. I just heard you guys say, get ready to laugh, and then play the taco meat song. Oh, uh, no. My, you uh, thought that I was, like, was us? I was like, what have you been while I've been gone? What's been going on? Oh, <laughs> no. I just imagine Opie with a bunch of plastic surgery <laughs> on his face. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, one direction. Uh, uh, and a funny uh, uh, taco uh, meat uh, song. Uh, uh, Man, uh, it's great. She's a nice lady. Uh, she's a nice lady. Uh, <laughs> uh, not bad. You get Carrie Underwood is like a young, good-looking girl. Yeah, yeah. And right. your description of her, she's a nice lady. She's a, she's a foxy lady. Uh, uh, <laughs> Song. I mean, just states facts. Just right. Right. Song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, worthless. Hey, Brian, nice you got to come in and do our show, man. 
I, I would love to. You tell, tell me how and when, and I'm there. Oh uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. My my in laws turned me on to Impractical Jokers. You got them to thank, and I absolutely like it. Where are we at with the show? I don't even know. I'm a little behind. We we're on a we new episode start uh, the 24th of October, and we are shooting the third season now. So we're we're just gonna go. We got like 30 more episodes to shoot. All right, got, year, so. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking guest spot for myself. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm right in. <laughs> Just put him on the spot. Yeah. I'm thinking uh, guest spot. What do you think? Yeah. Sounds like you're building new friendships. I can pull a joke or two every once in a while. Uh, let me tell you, I, I, I can make that happen. I have that power. I would love to be on that show, all kidding aside. All right. Yeah, uh, hold, hold on the line. We're going to get your number because uh, you, you should absolutely come in to promote the new season. I live on Stan Island, man. I could be, I could be there every day of the week. If you want. Well, we got to get back to Jack Tower. So hold on the line. Thank you, Brian. He's, you. he's a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're uh, featuring Scott and Todd, which we're going to do every fucking Friday yeah. Oh, yeah. for the month of Jacktober. Well, we got uh, Scott here getting topical. Oh, that's always good. I like good. good. I mean, you guys are making fun of him for saying he hates One Direction, but he knows what's going on. All right. He gets it. He gets yeah, it. Listen to, right. He's probably on the Twitter. Oh, yeah, he oh, is. Nice. Listen to him getting yeah. topical. Here. I don't have the Google. <laughs> <laughs> My friends. I use CompuServe. <laughs> right, right. DOS Prop. <laughs> Anyone got a new AOL disc? I like playing the Tetris. That's what I play. It, it soothes my brain. We got any faxes? <laughs> coming in. Fax paper. <laughs> the roller When's poly the afternoon paper? paper coming out? <laughs> I want to read the daily. Uh, <laughs> oh fuck! James uh, Cromwell. Cromwell. Cromwell thank he's you, been yeah. around forever. He was uh, in a remember that movie. He's been a hundred movies. Remember that movie he was in a Babe, Babe. Pig in the City. Yeah, the yeah. pig. <laughs> pig oh, that, didn't you see I that? don't think that you want to bring that up on a <laughs> no. day you just well. won an Emmy. Is, oh my God! Is Scott, is Scott okay? Movie. No, is Scott okay? I don't think so. I, I think this is not. That movie, the pig movie. <laughs> Yeah, well, when he came out his number on the radio, <laughs> oh, uh, his vacation was ruined. Everyone's yeah. calling his home. Uh, They're probably calling his house. You're like, no, it's his cell phone. Uh, babe, pig at Disney. <laughs> the name of the movie. But they all quickly try to finish his fucking they do. sentence so they can move on. They close it. They shut him down. <laughs> they try to shut him down. Hey, Pig! Well, he was in that movie. He was in a thousand movies. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, you doddering old was, fool. He went in a lot of them, you stroke face. <laughs> nothing. Shut up! Hey, he really is. He's like the last years of Strom Thurmond, where they keep yeah. trying to cut him off before he Just says cut anything. Him off. Don't say they, something stupid. Yeah. Yeah. They should. They should hire the Angel of Death to, to just be in the studio to keep him quiet, yeah. <laughs> just sitting there looking at him, waving his finger. No, no. The up. Angel of Death with the sickle. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, no, no, sickle yeah. at him. Yeah. The Angel of Death with a pillow, just ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's the pig movie. Pig movie. What is that one? You know who doesn't eat pigs? Are those Muslims? <laughs> <Man. What? laughs> That'd be cool if he just didn't even know. Oh. He just loses his mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Jews on the fire pigs over the wall with them muzzies. That's the real fight. That's it. Don't get me started on the colored <laughs> nigger. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Sogberry, Sogberry. Ah. The jaw. There's a spook on my block. <laughs> I don't like these Chinamen yeah, right. yelling at me. They're trying to drive with chinks on the road. <laughs> it's impossible, those bastards. Oh, they uh, get in a cab and the guy just smells like curry. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> One direction. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm going to love Fridays. <laughs> Got it around here. Hey, nice lady, though. <laughs> I like that nice lady from the pig movie. Yeah, pig oh, movie. Touch her face. Did he say nice lady? Yeah. Uh, Carrie, Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. Uh, this nice lady. Well, she's a nice lady. Oh, oh, okay. song. That's great. All right, guys. So what else? I love this. Well, uh, you got Todd, mm -hmm. <laughs> the one that likes a good frosting. Oh. Yeah. He's telling a DMV story. Oh, boy, that's topical. Okay, people Ruben. can relate. Very and relatable. He puts Scott. Uh -huh. I like how Sam wrote this out. And his comments on the pay no mind list. <laughs> oh, no. He won't let him talk. Fuck no. He, he knows. Never, never feeds him anything to 
to like get his opinion and tries to shut him down. Wait till you, Scott jumps in he, a couple times. Oh yeah. God! And Todd places him directly on the pain on mine list. <laughs> directly. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Not subtle at all. Huh? No, oh, I God, mean I a, a one-way ticket to the pain on mine list. You know, sometimes when we do October, I see the like the track list and I go, oh fuck, we got to do four more. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is, I'm I'm feeling sad it's, here yeah, that we don't have like twice as many clips today. That's why we celebrate every Friday. I, I am it. so sad. This yeah. relationship between Todd and Scott really is it just making fun. me. It's just great. It's magic. It's like a son well, who hates his father, but his father won't die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's just like yeah, Dad. We know it. Oh, okay. Right. You're embarrassing they've me. They've been they've been together forever because my friend and he is my friend. In the end, Jim Chandler. Ah. Yeah, but he rocks your friend too. I mean, oh you know. boy, look what you did to him. Jim Chandler works. Friends like him, who needs enemies, right? Oh, Am I yeah. right? Chip all around. Jim Chandler worked with Todd up in Albany at the Fly, and they were doing very well together. And Todd decided to take the big gig in New York with Scott. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that frosting ain't going to pay for itself. Mm -hmm. No. That's right. You gotta get that frost money. I wish I wish we could fucking put like little frost pellets in a shotgun. Let me use that. A new applicator. Yeah, yeah. You, you frost it from the inside of your throat. Fuck and die. Fuck yeah. Chip. Well, yeah. it makes me very happy that Todd is now stuck with this rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's hear. I, I got right, to hear this. I well, love it. I'm slowing down because like, I, I know, finally you don't you know, wanna, have a good meal. You don't want to fucking. Yes. I, I found out what it is. I found out Scott and Todd's uh, Scott and Todd's relationship is Todd is the, the gold digging wife that married the old rich man. Uh, and now oh, the yeah. old rich man won't dying. die. It's Anna Nicole and her old husband. Dying. Give me a kiss. Uh, kiss me on the lips. And oh. turn that off. I hate One Direction. All right. Yeah, yeah, goddamn kids. Well, that episode of Twilight Zone with the old guy and his fucking niece, Barbara. Yeah. Barbara, <laughs> bring me some some hot cocoa in my bone cup, Barbara. <laughs> We got a guy that used to drive Scott and Todd to the airport. See, I'm stalling because we only have a few clips oh, cool. left around. Right Hurts just... operator, you're on the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He used to intern at P uh, PLJ. So, yeah, hey, Bill. Hey, how's it going, guys? I want to quickly say that we have no idea what you're saying is real. Oh, it's absolutely real. I used to uh, intern at WPLJ, and they would have me bring Scott and Todd to the airport. And one at a time, two at a time, but they would sit in the back seat like I was a fucking chauffeur. And I'm like, hey guys, it's a fucking 95 Astro van, you know, I'm not a, I don't have a hat up here, you know? That's your whole story? <laughs> Fascinating. You, have, you just made me like Scott and Todd. Fascinating. Well, exactly. The, I mean, to, take, take to defend them, the, maybe they were in the back seat to just talk about some exactly. shit. Exactly. Or, or is, yeah, or he's trying to poison Scott. Right. Todd. He's an attorney, <laughs> guys. Yeah. I'm a friendly I, guy. Shut I, up, you fucking but, take Jessica Tandy to the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Quiet. There's, it's not a treat to be in the back seat. Oh. I take the front seat every fucking time. That's the seat to be in. Yeah. Well, I like the back. I like that it's an Astro van. Yeah. All yeah, right, Bill. Yeah. Great story. That was Thank the best you. part of the story. Exactly. Yeah. I'm right. saying it was an Astro van. All right, let's, wow, uh, let's, let's get back to this. DMV story yeah. and Scott and his comments are put on the pay no mind list. <laughs> right. I had quite a day yesterday. Really? Yeah. Oh. I had to go to DMV. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. And the lady who usually helped me over there retired. <laughs> So guess what? It's on my own. You had, oh, to, no. you had to go in there like, <laughs> you were a, civilian. like a regular New Jerseyan. Mm. Just like a I don't know. The people I saw in there, I never saw in New Jersey. <laughs> I felt like somebody should have been playing a steel drum offering me a little plastic cup of punch. <laughs> so, so basically you were riding in steerage. How long was your day there? Oh, wow. What is that? About an mean? hour 45. <laughs> Nothing. Riding in steerage? <laughs> steerage? Is that a plane? They hate what minorities. They? Oh, they certainly do. You can <laughs> tell from their breaks. Yeah, you know, the, uh, what happened? They fired a jigaboo. We used to help them. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it in steerage. I probably put her out in the field. What yeah, happened what? to the woman that used I... to help you? Yeah, she was a nice lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she used to make fun of Scott's voice, but what about Todd's voice in What's that cadence? <laughs> <laughs> and she went away. <sighs> Man. I have a clip. Yeah. I'm saving it for next Friday. Wow. Is that good? Let's do it today. I have a Fuck clip. it. There'll be plenty next Friday. What I've, are you doing? I have a clip of Todd, of Todd yeah. going from a radio cadence voice, that weird thing that he does, right. into live read. Yeah. It's like a different person. I know. Why oh, did you do that? God. I don't know. Can we get that? 
Yeah. Oh, we'll play today because there'll be plenty for next Friday, Scott and Todd. Yeah, and I don't want to be teased. I got to hear this. Yeah, Dan's this not going to be the next meh. week. Uh, the, all the Scott and Todd I get is right uh, now. Yeah, it's right now. Got to keep, blow the load. Yeah. Give I'll us it all. Fill my belly with this nonsense. Yeah, sure. What else is going on with you, Dan, as uh, Sam runs down the hall? I've just been uh, on the road, yeah. which is nice, uh, yep. you know, get out there and really... You're blowing up, man. I was oh, on YouTube geez. the other day, and some of your clips are like, got hundreds of thousands of views. That's yeah. pretty cool when that happens yeah, for was, you guys. If the Conan clip got a lot of views because of the, uh, my Russian joke, like a lot of Russian people. Right. And I was like, all right, mm. I'm not even Russian. And people are like, it's funny to re sometimes as a comic, as a comic, you know, never to go into the YouTube comments. YouTube comments are, is the worst place you could go. Yeah, because way worse uh, than even Twitter yes, and, and yes. Facebook. To the point, I think someone sent me a uh, uh, an comments. article that uh, YouTube's going to do something about that. Well, they should. How? I don't know, but they have some kind of strategy they're going to roll out soon because they've had it, basically. Because yeah. they know most of these guys aren't even commenting on the videos or anything anymore. Oh, the trolls. They're just complete and utter trolls with no real substance behind Fuckers. them. But the best are the people that are trying to be legitimate. Like, there was one lady that I read. I don't know. I think I was just bored in a hotel room, and I was like, I'll just feel like shit about myself for a little bit and read my YouTube comments. One lady was like... His stage presence needs a little working on. It's like, oh, who the fuck Ugh, are you? God. Fuck off. Who the fuck? You don't pay attention to that shit anymore, do you? No, no, no. But sometimes it is nice. When you realize the bigger picture, it makes it a lot easier. It's kind of funny People to me. People don't want to like you ever, so that's their whole job in life. They, they will spend way too much time on you. And it's shit where I always think about these people would never have the balls to say this to you in no, person. No, never. Ever in person, people are just rude. If someone had the balls after a show to walk up and say something they'd put right. on YouTube, you'd be like, "You're a sociopath." Mm -hmm. Hey, Travis, I want to play the Conan uh, Dan Soder thing that's getting a lot of heat. I'm going in a break, all right? Or maybe Is we can online? find it here. Yeah, I yeah, think let it's, me, let I, I believe it was on YouTube. Yeah, that's what you I was. You a problem, Conan? No, 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 not at all. I was saying that my Conan clip got a lot of uh, Conan has embraced you. A lot of exposure because oh, of this good, good. Russian joke that a lot of people. You should have slowed down when you told it then or something. <laughs> yeah, well, here's your hat. What's your hurry? I, I couldn't think of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have plugs before we go to break. It's very important. Oh, we're not going to break. Very oh. special. I think we're going to break. Oh, no. I think, yeah, I mean, that's the five-minute clip. Oh, when we go to break, we're doing that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm more ten the show, more. whatever. Uh, all right, back to Scott and Todd. Oh, please. Being featured every Friday on Jocktober. Todd continues to ignore Scott's additions to his story. So we got, we got more of the DMV story here. Oh, good. Thank God. They took my picture, and then she goes, stand back by the wall and wait till it prints. That's exactly how they talk what? to you. I'm like this, you got it. Dude. <laughs> Whatever you want. Or else. The guy, next guy steps up. She goes, well, where did you come from? Off the street before this? And he went <gasps> like this, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even bad nine. She's like, all right, well, fine. That explains why you have no address before this. I think what happens. Wow. What? I think what happens, Todd, is they become hardened over the years with the people they deal with. AC was down in there yesterday too. Oh, oh no. No. Yes. it's about a hundred and twelve. Wow, oh. that says a lot. He just swatted him out of there. He's, it's like he never spoke. He's done with him. He just fucking, he's done with him. Todd stinks too. Though. His voice is fucking well, he terrible. Does, 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 does. He's trying to put on some kind of fucking Brooklyn thing. It's, or, it's almost like yeah. It's like he's doing shitty uh, New York sports talk radio. Yeah. I'll tell you this. That's Eli the... Manning is not. No, it's the cadence, though, because they thought. They thought I know know what you were trying to do is what they're saying. Yeah. 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 She told me what my lady. I'm trying to be horrible. <laughs> Who listens to this shit? It's Drek. <laughs> I'm imagining that Todd didn't even look at him as he spoke. No, no. He just, like, was looking at someone Scott's else. Scott's, like, trying to get in there. Hey, I think what you were trying to do. Yeah, you know what else was down there? Yeah. Am I a ghost? Did I die? Uh, the I say we're down there. Oh, oh, fuck, that's got to be brutal. Hideous. Where's your mouse? Spidey, you put me on a pay no mind list? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking stutter and mutter and pick you? Dancing over. Dance it over here, yeah. you fucking Todd shit fuck. Dance for jokes over. He's a hack. His whole family's hack. He'd have grown up to be a hack. <laughs> oh, young Sam Roberts God, running, uh, uh, running he's, in. He's prancing? In a bear yes, trap. he's definitely prancer-sizing yes, his told, way in. I told yeah. Sam this is the first time I ever saw him run was this morning, and now my opinion on him has changed. Oh, yeah. He runs like a little fairy Mary. He, yeah. Yeah, he, runs, huh? yes. he runs like a female okay. doctor in the ER. Oh, he oh, we're losing, we're losing little, blood pressure. Yes, that little shuffly run. He runs like a gazelle with an itchy asshole. <laughs> 
Sorry, Kiko. All right. So then uh, this is was going to be saved, but fuck it, because it makes oh, sense yeah. today, because we're pointing out how weird Todd's voice is. Wow, wait a minute. Voice when it's time to sell some shit. Yeah, like, obviously, he's oh. putting on, you know, yeah, stupid voice. Crazy there's, voice. There's the tail end of his uh, fake radio voice, and then Scott starts the live read, which is just fun in and of itself. And then Todd comes in, and it's like, who is this person? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. How's their Facebook page doing today? Let's take a look. Hopefully good. Oh. But uh, We'll go to you in a second there, Sam, but first this. I sat with some Yugoslavian child who was waiting for his grandmother who kept trying to touch my phone while I played oh, games. No. <laughs> Wanted to break his little hand. In case you have not heard, the best kind of gifts are the ones that come unexpectedly. That's right. So when you send a gift of beautiful flowers from 1-800-Flowers.com, it's a per perfect way to brighten someone's day. How about this deal? This week only, 1-800-Flower is going to make it easy for you to make some Oh, it, wait, what happened to the guy, What happened to the guy that was going, hey, and then I said to the woman and that I... I said, that's really the same guy. That's Todd Pettengill. He Somebody just, smile. You'll get 10 bright, cheerful sunflowers, a free... Vo Why doesn't he talk like that? His just regular like voice that. is better. His way other voice better. is it's terrible. It's cartoonish. Is, is he doing that just to kind of keep up with the slowness that is Scott? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's mirroring his <laughs> stroke <laughs> speech. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> what, is he trying to sound younger? Maybe if I talk in a cadence, he'll understand what I'm uh, saying. Old man, yeah. can you hear the words I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and a box of delicious cookies, all for just twenty four ninety nine. dollars 99 When like we want cookies. to impress someone, we always call our friends at 1-800-Flowers.com. They make it easy for you. Like Todd said, 10 bright, cheerful sunflowers, the free Voss, and those cookies for twenty four ninety nine. It's an incredible offer and Bye. half off the regular price. So surprise Listen someone to today. Order now. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com from your desktop, or you can download the mobile app. Just... Click on the radio microphone in the upper right-hand corner and right. enter SNT. 1-800-Flowers.com. Enter SNT. Don't wait. Call, click, or right. come in today. They're both do it. Wow. They both do it. Yeah, they what put on. What the fuck? Wow. This is why. This is what you hate. I hate about radio veterans. These are guys that have been around for all these years, mm -hmm. and listen to the fake shit it's they phony, spit out uh, in their own. They're dumb fake. How voices. fucking embarrassing! That was insane. That's embarrassing. Amazing. Ah, that really top right That's back Kaiser to listener. He Kaiser Soze. Yes, yes. He, yes. he, he changes the limp. He started that spot limping and was <laughs> right. fucking He's sprinting like, at the end of it. I I got, so, uh, uh, in case you're wondering, the oh. Is that one of the greatest reveals ever, by the way? Yeah, it's the best. Holy fuck. I saw that coming. No, you didn't. <laughs> I don't know what you said. Uh, um, Scott talks about what movie he wants to see this weekend. Uh, yeah, this okay. is a good one. <laughs> what do you mean it's good? That sounds like a, just a normal thing uh -huh. to say on the radio. Uh -huh. Yep. I got to yeah. tell you what. I'm going this weekend. Gravity? Nope. Runner Runner? Nope. What? What? I want to see the boat movie. No, it's next, next week. week. It's not this week. No. Oh, confused grandpa. <laughs> the boat movie. I What's the boat movie? The Is that the Tom Hanks one, I guess? Got no comedy. Okay. I'm a star. I was comedy. <laughs> I want to see the boat movie. Boat movie. Sounds the like a movie. fucking retarded child saying, I, I want to see the boat movie. Does the boat movie. Ah, it's the boat movie. Where's the boat movie? With the, with the skinnies. Yeah. <laughs> right. Where's well, the one where Tom Hanks kills the Africans? That's right. Where, 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 the boat movie. Oh, boat. Is that the one where he got the uh, he got the, the soccer ball and he calls him Leon or something and <laughs> chases him around the desert? I'm on a boat. Oh, it's a boat movie. The boat movie. <laughs> Grandpa, there is no boat movie. Uh, there's a boat movie. The no, boat movie. I hate movies. Ah. That's that one where the, <laughs> the, the Gilbert Grant Rape kid and falls in love with a girl and the boat goes down. Well, the boat movie. <laughs> falls in love with a nice lady. Wow. Or Timothy Hutton's hanging on the back of the thing and crying and Judd Hirsch. That's the boat movie. Because <laughs> his brother <laughs> fell over the boat. Uh, and Buck couldn't hold on for you. Ah. Uh, uh, You're stronger than Buck. I want to see the boat movie. That's the one where you have to go to. Uh, it's the sequel to the bus movie. <laughs> <laughs> the boat movie. Yes. I want to see the boat movie when they fight the shark. <laughs> The boat movie where they die and don't wear no life jacket and the shark eats them on a boat. They had a bigger boat movie. Sounds like I have Quint <laughs> Sounds like I have Quint in my mouth. I got a fucking boat movie. Yeah, well, we uh, on DiCaprio falls in love with the girl. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and she throws the hat in the water. <laughs> and the boat motor. <laughs> 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 oh, not one. Uh, they really are guessing like he's completely senile. Well, I'm, oh my God. I'm going to start over because um, I really want you to appreciate this clip because there's such a confidence in his <laughs> voice. That's what we're getting bought takes on the water boat. He's still on the water boat and goes somewhere and takes a something. Yeah, well, we're kidding the lion. Go for a boat ride. Going, yeah. <laughs> E-Rock went to that movie talking right. something right. totally different. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Life of Pi, pretty short around E-Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he doesn't even know what he's talking about. The boat. He's just guessing. The it sounded no. that sounded like a dottering old fool yeah, man. Uh, but dark boat moment. But the confidence. Oh yeah. And he has everyone's attention, <laughs> and they're all playing along. I said, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said. Uh, He's feeling pretty good. Like, Grandpa. they're finally paying attention to me. And then Turn he gets that fucked up. I'm just queer with his frosted tips. <laughs> right. Now look at me. You look at me now, don't you, son? <laughs> a boat boy. Shelly Winters. Ah, there was one, right? The boat turned upside down and the fat woman drowned. Ah, and Christopher Lee was living in it in part two. <laughs> a boat boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's next week, Grandpa. It's not even coming out this weekend. Oh, I know, I know. That's the that's the beauty of it. We're oh, starting over because the confidence is I awesome. Gotta hear Everyone's about playing moving. along. He's got everyone's attention. I'm going over. And then, boom, no payoff <laughs> again. I got to yeah. tell you what. I'm going this weekend. Gravity? Nope. Runner, runner? Nope. What? What? I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> no, it's next, next week. week. It's not this week. No. no. Not yet. Yeah, the, 11th. It's the 11th. They were doing all the reviews in the paper. Yeah. Then. Well, because it premiered at the By New York Film It's called Festival. Captain Phillips. Yeah. Not, it's, <laughs> don't look for a movie called The, the Boat, boat Movie. <laughs> Oh. It's just right. openly uh, mocking now, them. Yeah, yeah. It's totally for a movie called now, The Boat Movie. Now, last year we got a great fucking clip. The, I got a tree on my house. I got a tree on I my I think house. we got one we already. We got a new one. He's The Boat Movie. I got a boat movie. I want to say The Boat Movie. I want to say The Boat Movie. I like the reaction. Is basically, their reaction is basically shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shut up, you old fool. And meanwhile, there they is no boat stink movie. too. Yes, they do. <laughs> I think t I've, come, I've turned the corner. I think Todd is worse. Because oh, his man. voice is such a fucking put, put on, on yeah, yeah. shit hack radio voice. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even get I Scott's at least just fucking I, old and finished. But I think yeah. he, <laughs> I think he did it for survival though, in a weird way. You Dude, think it's like uh, yeah, terrible. Like one of those abu like yeah. victims of abuse, like yeah. start having an English accent. Well, yeah, right. hunt for Bogart. What? What? We want to see a boat movie. With the no, it's next. Oh, yeah, wow. Africa Mountain Queen. Boat, boat movie. I think it works on Al-Q. It's about some fruit. The African Queen. <laughs> boat, boat movie. The boat. You guys got to see the boat movie? Uh, boat movie. <laughs> it's, just, it's just him mumbling into his soup. Man, boat great. movie. You ever seen the other one that's like a lot of boat movies? <laughs> Where was that one? It just blew him up. Not the uh, space movie. The, the boat, boat no, movie. No, there's a lot of Hawaiians in it and they blew up a bunch of boats. It was the blow up the boats movie. <laughs> <laughs> the boats down there is my favorite <laughs> part. <laughs> <laughs> what? I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> we got a clip. That's a clip. We got a clip. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> I feel like the, that's like the, I want to see the boat movie. Like he's in his wheelchair at yes. the ticket office yeah, at yeah. the movie theater. Uh, how, how many tickets, sir? Yeah, the boat movie. Uh, what, what is that? The boat movie. We don't have something called the boat movie. The boat movie. <laughs> he's like ringing what? the bell. Yeah. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> it's perfect though. It's clean. I want to see the get that on our machine immediately. It's he's clean. Like, he's like two goes uncle. He just keeps yes, yeah. it hit the bell. <laughs> ding 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 ding. The boat movie. Want to see the boat movie? Ding ding. What? I want to see the boat movie. Oh, is he dottering? Oh, that's great. What? Yes. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the boat movie. You know, what movie is that? The boat movie. What? I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> It's like he's just sitting there. Oh, that is this year's I Got a Tree on My House. It's like you got to deal with an older relative and you're finally like, What? Yeah, what I want to see it? the boat movie. Yeah. 
just keeps slamming his wheelchair into your I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> Morty wants to see the boat movie. Lee, Lee, after okay. you're done with the Swiffer, let's go see the boat movie. Yes, your father won't stop talking about the boat movie. The boat movie. <laughs> Why do you, we're not going to go to the movies. It's Thursday. Burr, burr, burr. I want to see the boat movie. Oh, you always <laughs> want to see the boat movies. <laughs> Uh, what? I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> okay, but you just need to take your pills first. Yeah, don't worry. Just take your medication, and we'll show you the movie. You mean Cap Captain Phillips? What? I want to see the boat movie. Uh, <laughs> the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. Who would describe it as the boat movie? A dummy. An old That's dummy. Bad. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> Uh, then Todd comes back in his normal voice. Uh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> just a little Scott fell asleep in the studio. That's yeah. Fake. He's worse to me. What? I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> are, there, are there any more? That's, well, there's got to be more clips. Well, Amazing. how's the Facebook page going, first of all? Uh, there's some really... There, uh, phase one is complete because... Oh. There's no public wall, but, right? Yeah. But you they're can just, comment on the comments. There's some nasty comments on their really? on their posts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. they can't. Uh, <laughs> it's giant they can't post <laughs> pictures. Oh my just, god! Wow. What happened there? And then there's a giant post that's just uh, um, <laughs> over and over and over. And over. <laughs> wow. Can you can yeah, you add the I want to see the boat movie to the intro to Jocktober? Oh, I don't see immediately. Why not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Immediately. I want to see the boat ball for you. Oh. <laughs> so uh, we're going to end uh, today's Jocktober with Scott and Todd. It's uh -huh. going to be Scott and Todd Fridays during yes. the month of Jocktober. Uh, it's the first one because it's too good to just shoot be. one. Um, well, you know, uh, they like to play games on their show. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to take their game and we're going to play our own game today. Yes. See, we're trying to do things a little differently this year. Just a little bit. I wanted to infuse some yes. uh, competition into Jocktober this year. The game is called How Long Before You Tap Out. And the reason we're playing this, it's time for a Todd phone scam. Oh, oh phone yeah. scams. Uh, it's a yeah. staple of the Scott, Scott and Todd uh, morning show. And we explain this every year. Um, phone scams, by the way, Are you're illegal. not allowed to do them anymore. You used to be able to just call people, put it on the air. Now you we have to inform. Yeah. We love doing them. You have to inform the person that is on the phone at the time that they are on the air, even if it's pre-recorded. You have to say you're, you're being recorded for the radio. So you can't do these anymore. You're yes, not going to you say, hey, it's, uh, you know, you're on the air, but forget that, and now I'm going <laughs> to phone scam you. Yeah. So they're all fake. Bullshit. These are all actors, paid phone actors and, and station people, and they... they Play these up, and if you can't tell just by listening to how fake and phony and badly acted this is, uh, you're an idiot. It's not fake. It is. <laughs> well, fucking hilarious. Mm. I'm not even gonna tell you how long this phone scam is, and uh, uh, wow. really try to hang in there. Got those taco smokers. Because I know the bit would be to to Whoops. tap out quick. Yes, yes. So at can, least try. Give them. Give it some effort today. And you can oh. pause and comment without sure. tapping out. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So it's time for the uh, the Todd phone scam. He does the phone scams and he does the song parodies. Those tacos do smell fucking good. Or the boat movie. I'm at a crossroad right here. Oatmeal. Mm. Tacos. I mean, the tacos. I don't think you're at really that much of a decision. I'm waiting. <laughs> Stealing things. Yeah. I, I want tacos. Ah, that the Mexicans cook well. Yeah, okay. they certainly do. I like the Mexican. Here <laughs> comes some good radio man. listeners. I want this one too. Oh. Amazing. The huh? I just had a couple of corn chips. What's that? <laughs> corn chips. I You're right. Corn chips. The food segments do. They just add. They don't take away no, from anything. No, absolutely. They don't yeah. stop anything. They fucking no. run themselves, man. You're when right. we do the food fucking segments on this there we go. program, ah, they run mm, themselves. Mm. I got tacos on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, looks like someone took a cancer shit on your plate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With the pineapple salsa? Oh, fuck. What, which one is it? These? These are the pulled pork. Oh, fucking pull my pork. <laughs> That's it. What is that? No. One more. 
There we go. Are they healthy? I'm set. Yeah, they're healthy. They're not healthy. Yeah, they're small. Tacos. They're fine. They're they're small. small. It's pulled pork. Yeah, Ansel, but Aaron, mm. Taco City or something. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. You hear what I said? What do we have to thank for the tacos, uh, Roland? Come down in one second. She's thinking of one more taco. Not pretty good. Oh, boy. Mmm. Look at how Roland handles food. It's amazing. Roland like is a like baby. Me with sex. It's like Roland he has food. He's very it's, it's like he has a, a, a newborn kitten yeah. in his hand. Like like you head. see that? Yeah. A shrimp taco. Sh he was holding the head yeah, of the taco onions? carefully. Oh, yeah. 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 I, don't want, I don't want onions. Oh. Wait, what is that one, Roland? Oh, that's shrimp with pickled onions. Oh my God! No, no, oh, no wow! Shrimp. It's like if I'm Sueños, as it's called, the restaurant. It's very, very good. Oh my Thank God! Which is the one with the sales? Pineapple sales. Yeah, All right, here's the uh, the Todd phone scam, and we're playing today uh, how long it takes to Yeah, but is out. this really playing? Because this seems like you're just going to put it on and then enjoy some tacos. No, no. no. <laughs> I, mean, that's, I think that's... No, we wouldn't do that. You just Now you're just punishing the listeners. Ready? Yeah, ready. Game. We received an email from Allie who wanted us to set up Sam. He works at a clothing store. Apparently found something that didn't belong to him oh. and decided to keep <laughs> no. it. Oh. Wait, what happened? I tapped out of the setup. Well, Sam, uh, <laughs> wow, it's only 10 seconds in and I tapped out officially. Yeah. I didn't even mean to tap out. You can't tap out. Uh, what happened? What's the setup? It's mm. a clothing store yeah. employee. Yeah. Okay. S took something they weren't supposed mm. to. They found something. And this is what happened. Look out. Hey, everybody, welcome back to it. I don't even like if they did that voice. This is going to be one of these impossible situations that would never happen in real life. Or that no one would give a shit about. That uh -huh. someone would be so apathetic right, that right. they're like, fuck off if you called me. Yeah. Games. We received an email from Allie who wanted us to set up Sam. He works at a clothing store. Apparently found something that didn't belong to him and decided to keep it. Uh -oh. The mistake he made was telling Allie, and the mistake she made was telling me. <laughs> this is called Outlet Outrage. Thanks for calling me. Hey, how you doing over there? I'm fine. Can I have uh, Sam? Sam, just hold one second. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, can I help you? This is Sam. Uh, yes. You're the one with the glasses. I'm sorry, have we met? Yeah, listen, Sam, why don't I shoot down there and pick it up? Uh, pick what up, sir? I'll be down here in like an hour and we can pick it up, all right? Sir, you're going to have to help me out here. I'm not, uh, not real sure what you're... Well, you're the one who found my money in the dressing room. What money? Oh, my God, you can hear the cut-ins. Yeah, you heard yeah, that, yeah, right? Yep, yep, yep. That might be a little too inside for people. We could hear that. But it, it's the punch-ins where, like, yeah. something didn't work there, so he redid it. He used to be yeah, a the Box at Rocco's Pro. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're a radio guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, the old Box Pro. It. You can you can hear it. But you can always it. hear the volume yeah. change. We're all, yeah, and, the and, and, and he didn't uh, yeah, you leave enough. hum, buzz, and then yeah. it cuts. And he didn't leave enough space to make it sound a little more natural. It's punched in. Or are they just doing it separately, like a pre-record? Oh. Like is one, remember how I did the Alan Alda thing? Oh, God. I wonder if they're That's just reading map. scripts at separate times. Sure. It's in room. What money? Now, uh, now, wait a minute. I was in there trying on a pair of them slouchy skinny jeans. Uh -huh. Like a month ago or something, and then my people... Oh, my God. I got to keep stopping. I uh -huh. know exactly what he's doing. Yeah. It's one of the oldest tricks in radio. You, you take... He goes, uh-huh. Yeah. So that uh-huh was from somewhere else. <laughs> And then he added it there just to kind of keep his his fucking shit going yeah. along. Want yeah. to make it sound like it was real, right? But it's it's but so it's obvious awful. it's not. It is you know fake. You know your way around a Vox Pro Dan Soda. Did a lot of it. Listen for the uh huh. But it's like uh huh. Ouchy skinny jeans. Uh huh. Like a month ago or something. And then my people tell me that you're the individual who has my cash. I don't have anybody's cash. Are you sure you? You why don't you think harder on that? Because I've been in Zimbabwe in my knife factory. I make machetes and oh, bayonets and swords. Boom. Well, I don't make them, uh -huh. but, I, you know, import, export. So I, I'd like to get my money back. I'm here in a country now, and I want to get it. Uh, I, I wish I could help you out, sir, but I uh, actually don't know what you're talking about. I definitely don't have anybody's money. You don't I, have my $800. I'm uh, not the sort of person who would uh, hang on to somebody else's $800. Yeah, you didn't just buy a coat that cost $450? Uh, well, I, yeah, I might have bought a coat. I want the coat. Uh, and whatever's left. I'm not good at the math. You figure it out. Uh, it's going to be a little difficult. It is, huh? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's for a second say I believe that you don't have my money, okay? So let me run down plan B for you. Okay. Plan B is I jump in my Hummer. I drive to the outlet there. I park my vehicle. I meander into your establishment. And I beat you for 800 minutes. Uh, 
That's all right. I, uh, what part don't we understand? Yeah, it's fucking yeah. hilarious. You guys are nuts. I'm tapping. You like a chip? Fuck yeah. He got him good. So <laughs> douchey. Oh, like gosh. the fact that the guy didn't go, what do you mean? I bought a coat. How do you know that? Right. Yeah. right. Well, it's almost over, right? Well, yeah, who's this? How do you know I bought a coat? What are you talking about? Yeah, fuck you. Like, you make uh, knives? Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Bring a machete to a gunfight, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Could I tell your him? establishment, and I beat you for 800 minutes. Uh. Sir, I, I, uh... What part don't we understand here? Let's, uh, let's just, let's just calm things down I'm gonna jump bit. in my Hummer, I'm gonna drive to the outlet, I'm gonna it. park my vehicle, I'll meander into your establishment, and I will beat you we for 800 it. minutes. Let's just calm down for a second, I'm sure we can... Oh, uh, I'm calm. We can work something then out. Then again, maybe. I didn't take somebody's $800. Right, well, there's, there's no need to, uh, resort to violence. I'm oh, sure we this... can, uh... No, huh? No, I'm sure no we, can, we can figure this. something out. You know how long an 800-minute beating is? No, I don't know. It's about 13 hours. Fuck, uh -huh. yeah. I doubt you live through something like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, I... I'm not good at math. I might be off, but I am good at beating people oh. for 13 hours. Yeah, I, uh, I'm getting that. My upper body's awesome. I'm all torso. Uh, yeah. Um, well, listen, sir, uh, I, you know, I, I, I'm hoping we can, uh, oh. we'd be able to work this out. I just thought of how we can work it out. Okay. You can give me my freaking money back! Well, look, it's, uh, it's a little tricky for me to get the coat, uh, uh, back at this point. Um... What's your coat? Yeah, it, it, it is my coat. But you bought it with my money. Right. Are you gonna admit that it's my money? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not admitting anything. You know, I'd be more than happy to, this uh, is to so share the coat. Bad. With... It's, it's, it's not even... And we had fun uh, up to this point. Yeah, it's this not... Is always... God. And it's too long. Uh-huh. But Way it's, too long. It's a six-minute call, by the way. Oh, it's like your friend when, thinks he's funny, but yes, it's, he's yes. not. He got him, though. And if the call... <laughs> oh, my ship, he did get him. <laughs> if you know you got a long call, the first part where they he talks to some person before they get the other person, you could cut all that out just to make it move along faster. And <laughs> cut a lot of this the out. The fake fear is the worst yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. The, okay, uh, sir, please okay. come here. Who would do that? You'd hang up. I'd yeah, rather hear Voss doing Shakespeare. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. You fiddle smooth. Right, listen, though. I'm not going to share a coat. What, you got it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I got it Tuesday, Thursday. We can't share a coat. Uh, you bought the coat with my money. Well, Hilarious. let's just say I was able to, uh, you know, recover and return the money to its rightful owner. Yeah. What, what would happen then? I would jump in my Hummer. Right. I would drive to the outlet. I would park my vehicle and meander into your establishment, uh. allow you to return whatever portion of my money it is that you have, and then on principle, I would punch you one time in the esophagus. How, how hard a punch are we? Oh, oh God. God. Oh, oh, God, really? Oh, Come you. on. You guys, this is real if, stuff. If you are a listener of Scott and Todd, and you that that was just a clear fuck you to them, like to their yeah. listeners, they're like, you're dumb. Do you think you someone's driving, it. listening, going, oh, my God. Oh, no. He's going to ask how hard oh. Get to work, and you got to. See, did you listen to Scott and Todd the phone scam? I wish I could play it back for you. Oh, this is awesome. how how hard a punch are were we oh. we talking about? Well, I'm out eight hundred dollars, uh -huh. so I guess it would be about an eight hundred dollar punch in the esophagus. That, that sounds like. Uh, uh, can we negotiate the punch down? I don't understand what that means. Well, it's just that sounds like an awfully hard punch. I mean, maybe it's a you know. You took something that didn't belong to you. I'm saying I, I it might be possible that I could, uh, you know, recover. <sighs> Why the, is this keep going? Uh, the item in question. It's not item. It's money. Well, there's an item. Yeah. Well, you know what? I don't want the coat. Oh, the cut. I changed cut, my mind. That cut was the so cut, bad. The cuts are blatant. Just. Uh, uh, oh. I got to be honest, we were guilty of that ourselves when we had a Vox Pro, uh -huh. so I know how this works. You just had to trim the fat. Yeah, you pump some shit up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, trim the fat. Some of those dead spots where well, you're trying <laughs> to think of the next thing to say, right. and then you cut the dead spot out, and you seem like you're a fucking amazing, smart, fast yeah. whip. A machine! Look at me. Yeah. I fucking instantly hit it with that line. Yeah. Meanwhile, in reality, you're just sitting there with dead air going... It's like, uh, how hard of a punch? How? How do you edit things into a bad improv? Yes, <laughs> yes. That's all that they've done. This oh, is, this I changed is bad my mind. If, it was just... done, if this was done under the fucking under the fucking conditions of Deer Hunter when they're playing <laughs> Russian <laughs> Roulette, this yes. would still be bad. Yeah. Diddy Mouth! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's money. Well, there's an item. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't want the coat. I changed my mind. I just want all $800. I want it all back. And I'll be down there in like, I don't know, give me an hour.
An hour, huh? And then comes the 800-minute beatdown. Right. Uh, well, I... Uh, How much look, can you come up with? I still have... Uh, well, I think I could recover about uh, 350 uh, this morning. But why would you give someone $350 if, in fact, you weren't the guilty party? It's possible that I uh, am in contact with that person. Uh, oh, so you're you know. saying it's not you, but you know the person. Yeah. You know what happens when you lie? You get nine punches in the oh, esophagus. Oh, my God. God. Maybe we put you on a payment schedule. Listen, I, uh, I think schedule. I can help you out. I think I can I can come up with the uh, full amount. Why oh, you, you can? Yeah, I think that can be arranged. Don't oh. leave early or anything, because then I have to get Allie involved. How, how, how do you know uh, Allie? Well, she set you up. What do you mean? This is PLJ Radio. Oh. You've just been phone scammed. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna kill her. I hope you don't get a call like this for real, my friend. <laughs> Me too. Oh, yeah. You know how long an 800 minute beating is? Oh boy. Oh boy. Money. Yeah, you know what money. Fuck yeah. Oh boy. Oh, oh, God, could it be any busier? Oh. You've been phone scammed again. They are oh. truly terrible. It's, it's just, terrible radio. It's again. New York radio. First off, the, uh, you, don't, uh, you would almost accept this from a small market. There's so much there that sucks. That's the kind of... Let's in the fake scenario. Let's pretend that this guy's real. All right. right? Let's just pretend. Sure. If you're a real piece of shit and you steal eight hundred dollars yeah. from your work, uh -huh. you're not going to be like, oh, I think I have the party and because you're going to be like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. down here. Yeah, yeah come down. I'll, I'll be waiting yourself. for your ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then you, you describe man. you describe the clothing someone else has on. <laughs> right. I'm wearing a red jacket. Right. <laughs> Now I'll go into 20 minutes about how I'm going to punch you in the esophagus. Yeah. And if I change it to schedule... schedule. Yes, that's oh. funny. Yeah. I want to see the boat movie! It's in the back. You can just uh, hear him yelling at it. the boat movie! <laughs> I'm not good at math. Third time I said that. Oh. Fucking God, I'm going to meander. Get the, the, my the, Hummer. Yeah. He was proud of himself when he came he up with meander. Oh. Because he used it a lot. <laughs> He's like, uh, and it, it, he thought like, everyone yeah. would be walking around New York using the word meander because of his oh. phone scam. <laughs> and, and then he told the guy he was going to meander down to his job. Yeah. And I'm going to meander in. Fuck you. Terrible. All right, there you go. Truly terrible radio. That was it, huh? Scott and Todd Friday is off to a great start.